Hey everybody, I'm Charles Morgan from Comic Week and I'm here with Brianna Hi. B from Alpha Comics and we're here to show you all the cool new comics that are coming out on October 16th, which in a few short hours the doors will open everybody's going to come and ransack your uh, your shelves that you've spent hours sorting things out and putting in alphabetical order. But before that happens, we're going to share with you what we're reading this week and what you might want to check out. Yeah. So History of the Marvel Universe is going to have its newest issue with no. this. Yes, <laughs> number four. <laughs> um, all kinds of people, history, whatnot, kind of going through this takes everything. You up to, yeah, this one takes you up to the modern age, so you are kind of progressing, progressing mm -hmm. as it goes. What else are you reading? Uh, Spook House. This is one I recommend for younger readers if they like spooky, but they don't necessarily can't handle anything really, really scary. Um, so it's going to be kind of in the vein of Goosebumps, but it might have kind of an older style to it. Right. This is from the creator of Goon. For you mm -hmm. adults who uh, like that uh, comic, you might want to pick this up. It's probably something in it for you. Yeah, there's a, a kind of a similar vibe to it. It's just going to be toned down for younger audiences. All right. And then Vampirella, uh, 50 years. I particularly am fond of this bet. I think he's adorable, and I think he should be named Gerald. But that is just my personal opinion. Bat bats are cool things. You need them. Yes, bats are very cool things. So uh, Marvel's got a bunch of big titles, and uh, they always do. But uh, you'll, you'll definitely want to pick up the new uh, Absolute Carnage. This has been one of the uh, summer... I, I guess like World of the Realms was supposed to be Marvel's big summer event, mm -hmm. but I kind of feel like the event of the year has been... Absolute carnage. carnage. Yeah, it definitely got a lot more reception and response than War of the Realms. War of the Realms had a lot of really cool like concepts and stuff, and especially if you're a Thor fan, it can be pretty cool. Um, but I think because of all the hype from like the Venom movie and then seeing where Carnage is going to go, and it had been a while since they had had a Carnage title, um, it was pretty ripe for yeah for it it's big thing and this was the uh the hotz uh, connecting variant which is uh the one i picked because i like this one the most this week also absolute carnage the avengers is a one shot yep with uh the avengers <laughs> in it. so you want to pick that up and also uh carnage fights scream and absolute carnage scream uh issue number three so this has been a, also a very cool spinoff series uh the whole the whole carnage thing has really been great i like the carnageized covers i like yeah yeah everything. it seems like it's been a really cool thing and the thing i like about it is that you have like the series and you have the one shots where it's kind of like okay if you're curious about it you can read that but if you don't want to dive into that giant pool of carnage goodness that's kind of on the gloopy side um you don't have to <laughs> So, uh, so if uh, Absolute Carnage has been the comic Marvel comic event of the year on the comic book side, uh, this I would say the second, in my opinion, for the year has been the Powers of Ten House of X, and that has culminated now for the release of the mm -hmm. new X Men series. And here you have it, X Men number one, and this is the art charm variant cover. Yeah, no, it's super duper pretty. I really love it. Jean Grey looks pretty rad in this. Um, and I just love like the tree accent and everything like that. It's super duper pretty. Yeah, and you guys got like a probably I, I haven't I don't even know what it is, but a super scarce variant came in. Yeah, something like that. It was already pre bagged and boarded. Yeah. yeah, and this one features uh, many many jeans. Yep, yep. This so a, many jeans. A jean pool. Right? <laughs> and uh, another title I think uh, is definitely worth checking out. This is number two of Something Is Killing the Children. She also has a really cool variant cover you might want to check out. Uh, Store's probably got a few of those. Uh, but yeah, this is sort of a horror title, which is fitting since it is October. Yeah, and it's been super hard to keep in because a lot of stores were allotted for their multiple printings. I think like number one's in four or five. Right. Um, but I'm not sure which one in particular. But it, it's, it's been definitely selling very quickly. And every one of those variant covers, or oh, uh, yeah. multiple printing covers have been very beautiful too. Yeah, and they're each different, which is really cool. Um, I have some people that are specifically looking for particular printings. So uh, this is sort of a, you know, sort of a jumbo size uh, DC release. This is uh, the Dark Multiverse, Tales from the Dark Multiverse, Batman Nightfall. And uh, th this is one of the key uh, comics of the week you're definitely going to pick up. It's uh, five ninety nine. And uh, it features definitely a dark, uh, kind of bloody story. Even uh, the Batman. pages are black. Yes. So uh, definitely something you want to check out if you're into, uh, into that. And also, uh, I already read uh, Batman uh, number 81. Uh, and uh, when we ended uh, last uh, issue, uh, Thomas Wayne, as the Batman, uh, was uh, 
putting a gun in the face of Robin. And that was the cliffhanger. And uh, in this issue, we get to see uh, what happens when you mess with the fam, mm. the bat fam, that is. So a uh, very, very cool story. And uh, also Catwoman makes a cameo. And, you know, I'm a Catwoman. Oh, know, yeah. Stand, oh, yeah. so. It's always always great when she can pop up. Um, speaking of larger issues, we're going to be continuing with the DC 100s. This one's going to be focused on Wonder Woman. Uh, so if you're looking for something that's kind of a standalone thing, these 100-page giants would be a really fun read for that. Right. Uh, and Mary Jane, you know what that is. In comics, it's uh, Peter Parker's wife. Yes. And we have three Mary Jane covers here. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so they're going to be continuing for a bit longer. I'm super excited for the Spider Gwen one that's going to be coming out soon. All right, there you go. But not quite yet. So there's the three. You got Captain America, uh, Agents of Wakanda, and Captain Marvel. And Captain Marvel has the uh, debut of a new character, so that might be something. Hey, Captain Marvel actually has been selling out and getting multiple prints. That's well, that's because you have the, the 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 new character that's been popping up uh, because of her appearance. It's been a lot of interest plus the covers have been really great too so and also uh wrapping up is another dc black label title and this is superman year one from frank miller and uh, i got to read through this and uh you know it's uh, kind of interesting uh, superman gets to meet lois lane uh, rescue her there's some military action that superman's kind of involved in and then we get some other major dc characters show up at the end so Course. Probably someone with the beginning of wonder in their name. Right, and uh, and somebody with a B and a N in mm. his name. And, uh, but, but anyway, yeah, so th this is, uh, you know, Frank Miller's, uh, I think, done this uh, year one uh, project justice. I, I really like the first issue. Second issue was kind of strange, but you got to see Superman as a Navy SEAL recruit. And here you get to see him, like, come to terms with his powers, his awesome responsibility, and uh, other DC superheroes coming to terms with him being there. So a really cool series. I do like these DC Black Label bigger format magazine yeah. format books they're cool you may want to get two because you're never going to keep your fingerprints off of these covers they have this matte black finish on the back onto the number ones for the week we got a lot of indies here yeah. cult classic uh these if i remember correctly they're going to be um versions of like books that you don't normally get to see that are going to be on this kind of cult classic header Tank Girl Forever. Tank Girl's always a fun one if you want a little chaos in your day. Yeah, I picked up some uh, early Tank Girl uh, back issues I was mm -hmm. really stoked about. Savage Tales. It's going to have a special Halloween uh, in incarnation. We've already had a Betty Page one. Kind of going through everybody and giving them a special little one shot for the, for the season. Right, right. And either the best thing or the worst thing to ever come out of Richmond is the uh, new comic with, about Guar that is out this week. Uh, this is one of the key collector comic apps, uh, top picks of the week. It's got a really trippy cover. Oh, uh, yeah. Of course, uh, Guar was a very notorious band when we were in high school, when I was in high school. They were basically uh, getting charged of public indecency and all sorts of stuff. Their, their concerts are the stuff of legend. Any band that makes a, a video called Phallus in Wonderland, you know, is uh, doing it right. And there's also DC's Metal, Metal Men. Men. And there's a woman, too. Yes. Which, this is the B cover of it, but I, I just like the way this looks. This is The Marked. Yeah, it looks really interesting. Um, apparently, it's going to be dealing with influencers who have like specialty tattoos or something along that line. Right, and sorcery. So yeah, that's so. There's a Lady Death pinup cover, Shameless. Mm -hmm. Absolutely shameless. Uh, from Coffin Comics. Uh, what would ever happen, you think, Brianna, if you took a total psychopath and he ran for elected office in America? Well, if you read The Mask, you'll find out. Mm hmm. Also, for Marvel, there's uh, Crazy, which is uh, sort of a send-up of uh, uh, sort of a lampooning of the Marvel Universe, which is pretty cool. Uh, from Amigo Comics, there's Apocalypse Girl. Uh, also, if you go to our uh, Comic Week page, our contest page, this is our 22nd uh, CGC giveaway. And since it's October, we are giving away a copy of Sylvester's mm. variant cover of Walking Dead number 100. Uh, and uh, this is a... You know, Glenn's uh, final uh, issue, I guess. I guess he uh, doesn't uh, fare too well when he has an interaction with Negan. So you got both of those iconic characters, an iconic scene. Uh, and you also, uh, you know, you get a, get a 9.6 if you win. So uh, just enter. You have until next Tuesday at 1 o'clock. That's when we draw the winner. So 
Uh, that kind of wraps it up for this week. Uh, pretty busy, spooky October uh, mm -hmm. week in comic books. So uh, for, for Bree and uh, for the crew at Alpha Comics and for Comic Week, we'll see you next week. Bye.